Hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? It's July 20th, 2021. I'm going to be doing a daily reading for you guys. I do apologize for the lateness of me posting this video, but hopefully you get what you need. Okay. Out of this message. So let's see what is coming out here in the energy of my Pisces and what's coming towards Pisces. July 20th, 2021. Some of you guys, this is not going to come up in your energy today. Perfectly okay. May resonate with you two days ahead, two days behind. You know how that is. All right, let's see. What's the message, Barrett? All right. Pisces, you're silent. Today for some of you guys could be rest, relaxation, respite, um, meditation, more of like being by yourself, a very somber, uh, somber type of energy, somber. I think I'm saying it right. Or is it sober? No, not sober, <laughs> somber, but it's like, it's like a little bit of reflection, you know, a lot of thinking, wanting to be by yourself right now, reflection. I feel like there's a lot of reflection here going on, a lot of reflecting here. I feel like there may be a lot of things on your mind, but I feel like right now you're just kind of like um, more of someone here who's just kind of like, you know, uh, it feels like respite, like in a time of respite for you. You may be not communicating with someone. Um, instead of you communicating and talking, you're more of just kind of reserved with what you're, uh, what you, what it is that you have going on in your head. I feel like there's a, a million things going in your mind, and you're just trying to sort through it. And I feel like you're not communicating to someone, you're not talking to someone, you're on break. You just need this time right now to kind of think about some things and be alone here. And this is your energy with the four swords here. Okay, some of you guys may be visiting grave sites, um, going to see someone that you love, um, trying to get, be connected here to your ancestors, you know, so some of you guys are probably going to visit grave sites or really kind of reflecting, trying to get some type of clarity and answer and healing through, um, through your bloodline ancestors is what I'm hearing. Okay. I do feel like what, and this could be something that's happening in the future or in the past, but I do feel like what's coming towards you though, Pisces, someone, someone does want to communicate with you, but I feel like they're having a hard time communicating with you. Um, what I mean is that I feel like this someone here is spying on you heavily. I feel like this is a, someone that's, that has been close to you with the 10 of cups here in reverse temperance in the five of cups someone's spying on you especially with the eight of cups here eight ace of cups here too yeah someone's spying on you someone's keeping a close eye on you but they're not communicating or talking to you this is somebody here who is wanting peace here with you they may want a peaceful resolution here with you they may want to seek a peaceful resolution here with you it could be a family member a loved one but you're on break from this person, okay? This is a time for you to just be alone and think about stuff. I don't feel like you're in an energy of even communicating with this person at this time, okay? So I do feel like someone is definitely spying on you. Whatever the energy is coming towards you is someone who definitely um, wants to communicate or they want to say something here to you. But I feel like they are just spying from a distance, from afar, watching you, paying attention to you, okay? Reminiscing about you. Thinking about you. Trying to figure out what the words or how they are going to communicate when the next time they do communicate with you. What advice do I need to give to Pisces? Pisces, I feel like you're reflecting on some type of negative message that someone may have communicated. I think that's really what it is all about. You're reflecting on a lot of 
uh, negative communication that may have came from this person. Like I said, it could have been a loved one, a family member, someone that you really was close with, or someone that you have some type of ties with here emotionally. Um, emotionally. But I do see that you are reflecting on some type of negative communication, negative thoughts or negative words from someone else. Not that you yourself is being negative, but you are reflecting on that. And whatever is coming towards you is someone who's spying on you, knowing that they were negative, knowing that their words are hateful, or they were very alarming or very uh, much penetrating in some way. <laughs> and it's one of those things where they may even feel like they have to live with it because once you say it, it's not something that can be taken back. What advice do I need to give to Pisces in regards to the situation? Okay. So we have the Five of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Pisces. This could be an air sign in your energy or a water sign that it is that you're reflecting on. But I do feel like, I do really feel strongly that spirit does not want you to let this. I feel like spirit doesn't want you to absorb this energy. They don't want you to stay here in this place, in this energy. Okay. They also don't want you to ignore what it is that you're feeling, but they don't want you to absorb the negative things here that may have been said or communicated is what I'm hearing. They don't want you to absorb that energy. I'm hearing that they want you to find, find some type of outlet or a good outlet to release that. I feel like this... This, I feel like you feel left out in the cold. I feel like you feel like you're the only one uh, that truly cares, you know, how the situation ended or how the situation is going right now. And I see that you still have a lot of love and emotions or feelings, or you still truly deeply care about what someone is thinking or feeling about you. But they want you to remember who you are. They want you to remember um, what it is that you possess. They don't want you to let this affect you, okay? I feel like they want you to possibly, feels like, distance yourself from that. These thoughts, these feelings. It's one of those things where you really wanted someone to care. You truly wanted someone to care. Um, it's, I get this energy that you really want someone to care deeply about how you feel or how whatever, how this may have affected you, whatever communication of words, like, I feel like you truly want to know if this person truly cares. You truly want to know if this person has any feelings at all, if they have any care at all for what they said. And I do want to let you know that they do. Okay. You could be dealing with a uh, Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, any other sign, but that's what I'm seeing here. I want to let you know that this person is spying on you. This person does want to know what it is that you're thinking about them. This person is really in their head about how you feel about them. And I do really feel like you're not the only person feeling this way. Um, it's a part of you that still wants to know if this person cares or you really want to know like, you know, how can this person just say this and not care, but they do. They do care. And I feel like you're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling like this person 
maybe doesn't understand what it is that you're feeling or do not care about what it is that you're thinking or feeling, but they do. And they want me to let you know that this person may not be communicating or talking to you right now, but they truly still deeply care. Or maybe this is someone who um, is your family member or someone that, like you said, that have may, um, like I said, that may have passed away, but, and they can't communicate with you, but they are watching you and they do feel left out in the cold. They feel they feel really crappy. Okay. Um, just as crappy as you may be feeling or just as much as you may be trying to hold it together in a, in a really tough place or tough spot. Um, I do feel like this person does truly deeply cares about this. Okay. About you in some way, they just are not communicating this. They may, they, it feels like they're not communicating or showing you this emotionally, or they're not doing something practically here that you may want them to. Or that you wanted them to okay this is what I'm seeing I truly feel like the work I feel like the hardest part about this is you try remaining silent I feel like the heart of the hardest part about this is you staying you know to yourself having this time alone not communicating I feel like that's a very hard thing for you to do I feel like you not communicating or you not saying anything is really hard for you to hold back in some way, but you are. But I, I feel like it makes you feel left out in the cold. But what you're not understanding is that don't count yourself out, Pisces. Don't count yourself out as if you're the only one that's feeling this way. I feel like it takes a great deal of love for yourself to know when to just step back from a situation Okay, and I feel like that's what you're doing in order to gain clarity, in order to gain understanding, you know, and I feel like that's what you're doing. And I feel like in return, uh, this person is spying on you or they're feeling some type of way. And they're also reflecting these same feelings of feeling left out in the cold by you, because I feel like there's something that you're not giving anymore to this person. Okay. And in order for you to have peace, it's like you have to isolate yourself in such a way to the point where you feel like an outsider or you feel like you're not, um, like someone doesn't care. Okay. But I just want to let you know that this person does care. And I also feel like this person really, I feel like, like you being on break and I hate to say it it's like you being on no contact with someone it feels like you're on no contact like you not contacting this person not talking to this person not being aware of this person or showing it's like you're not showing yourself to be aware of this person in some way not making yourself aware to this person is really causing this person to want to know what it is that you're doing and it's causing them to feel left out in the cold and feel like, you know, they want to be included in some way. Um, it's making them want to include themselves in some way. It's really making their, like, it's pulling on their heartstrings, whether you know it or not. Okay. And I feel like it's kind of softening them up a bit. Okay. Or it's allowing them to open their heart up to you in some way. Okay. So I really would advise you, Pisces, to really take a step back and con continue to love yourself. I really feel like, I feel like you need to continue to love on yourself, love yourself, take this time, this break here, and to fear, figure out what it is that you, your cup, like to fill your own cup up with this King of Cups, to continue to fill your own cup up here, especially if you feel like you're not getting what you or giving, you're not getting what you are giving, or you're not, you know, receiving something here that you're giving. I just really feel like, yeah, continue to do that. It's almost like you have to continue to be an outsider to this person and continue to love yourself and fill your cup up here. Okay. Cause I feel like in return, it's going to cause this person to feel like, again, like they're going to be 
it's it's a desperate type of energy. I feel them being very desperate and spying on you at a time where you're feeling very desperate and may want to communicate. I feel like they're very desperate to know what it is that you're thinking and you're feeling. And in return, it's really going to open them up more. It's going to open their heart up, okay, to you.